Wait, do I need more? Is this it? Yeah. And here we are once again. Where's my freaking... Oh, it's in the dishwasher. Hey guys, uh, thanks for joining me again on another episode of What's in My Freezer That I Can Make For Dinner. Today's episode is going to be about stew. Yes. I love me some stew. It is fall weather and I am on board this train. So yesterday I took out about a pound of boneless stew meat from the chest freezer in our garage and I set it on the counter to let it thaw out. So actually, ooh, it's all bloody. <laughs> the ingredients I have is a whole bunch of celery. I'm not gonna use all of this. I'm gonna use, you know, a bit. Mm, wonderful corn. This is not corn. These are carrots, okay? We have some celery. We have some carrots. I have a couple of russet potatoes. Now I have four, but do I want to use all of them? That's like the question going on in my potato brain right now is how many potatoes to use? Cause we love our carrots. I am going to chop these into smaller bits, like bite size. So I think two potatoes should be enough. I also have some fresh garlic as well as some uh, sweet onion. My husband is not a fan of onions, but if I chop it large enough, he can just eat around it and pick it out. Personally, I, mm, yes, thank you. I love onions, they're delicious. I also have some 100% natural beef broth. 100% no MSG added, 50% less sodium than our regular product. Thank you, Swanson. By the way, this is not sponsored. And my tool of choice at the moment is this lovely peeler so I can peel my carrots and my potatoes. All righty. So the first thing I'm gonna do is be a choppa chopping up some of this celery. Yes. Now again, as usual, I do not have a recipe. Oh, I am just making it up as I go along from what I think I know about cooking. So far, all of the meals I've done this way have been edible. So bonus, yay me. I'm going to kind of, look how dirty this is. I think three is probably enough. My husband is not the biggest fan of putting anything in his mouth that is green, but he is trying and he is doing much better. So love you, honey. I'm going to rinse these in some cold water. That is something that is on my list of things to do more often is camp in a Dutch oven over a campfire because that sounds really exciting to me. Let's get to chopping our celery. You know, I quite enjoy celery. I don't know why people have a problem with it. I am now grabbing, what am I getting from the can opener? This medieval looking torture device. I'm going to open my beef broth and put that into my crock pot. This is a crock pot dish today. Squeezy, squeezy, turny, turny. There's gotta be a better way to open cans, right? So in goes the beef broth. Mmm, one can or 14 and a half ounces of beef broth. Chopping up my veggies. And here we go with the choppy choppy of the celery. <laughs> Did you guys hear that sound? Acre plunk, oh shit. There is our first ingredient. Yes. Celery is in the pot. Ooh. Ooh. Can never have too many carrots. But when I was little, huh, I used to have tea parties. I had this little plastic tea party set and I loved it. I played with it all the time. So me and my friend Lindsay, we would have these carrot and Diet Coke tea parties. We put Diet Coke in our little teapot and we would eat carrots. And I'll tell you what, neither of us wears glasses. I'm pretty sure Lindsay doesn't wear glasses or contacts. And I believe it is due to all of the carrots we consumed as children sitting around our little carrot and Coke tea party set. 
Lindsay, do you wear glasses or contacts? You need to let me know. And now time for the choppy choppy. In goes the corn. Easter. I love the color. It is so pretty. Yes, color. Yes, veggies work. All right, so now I am going to uh, peel some potatoes. My preferred method for peeling said potatoes, I like to kind of just get them a little damp and then I just come on, jump in the bag, peels. Don't make me pick you up later. Peeling potatoes. Peeling, peeling, peeling. Get those taters peeling. I was thinking about this last night and I was like, hey, I should film a what's in my freezer. Um, and I should do stew and then I could, you know, add potatoes and carrots and as I was thinking about that because that's what I do when I can't go to sleep, I think about stuff like that. I was playing the banana fana game in my head. Carrot, carrot, bow barret, banana fana, bow barret, me, ma, mo merit, carrot. Have you guys ever played that, that game before? So I was like doing all these different vegetables and like things I can cook with. And that song really only works with two syllable words. Like potato is three syllables. That's a mouthful for that game. Potato, potato, bo, bo, ba, potato. You know, I mean, it's it's too much. It's too much for the the little brains. It really can't do anything that starts with a B, F, or a M. Those are the letters that you use to make fun of whatever you are trying to make fun of. Ferret, ferret, bo, barret, banana, fana, fo, ferret. I mean, you say the word ferret, and you're trying to make fun of the word ferret. It's just it doesn't work. That's just my random thought. And what my brain goes through when I have insomnia and I can't get to sleep at night. One potato peeled, two potatoes in the works. Technically, I have been filming for 17 minutes, but in the wonderful world of the editing room, this has probably only been, I'm going to guess, five to seven minutes. Two potatoes peeled, let's get to chopping. Another stirry stirry of our stew slurry. I'm getting a little stew juice on me. What is on my foot? Yes, veggies. Now for the onion. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to put the whole thing in. I'm going to cut the top of it off. Oh shit, I'm about to cry up in here. I can already feel the fumes penetrating my eye sockets. Chop off the other end. Chop it in half. I have about a half an onion, and then I'm just going to very roughly chop that. I'm going to put the rest of my onion into a little baggie and stick it in the fridge so that I can use it at a future date. Bagging up my onion, putting it in the fridge, saving it for another time. What rhymes with fridge? Onion, peeling off that skin layer. Get off skin. Nobody likes you, skin. We'll see how it cooks down after a couple of hours. I am definitely going to add, be adding more liquids, of course, but not before I add some garlic. Yes. Garlic is one of my most favorite things. I like it cooked. I like it on pizza. I like it roasted, especially. I like garlic bread. I like garlic fries. I like garlic salt. I like garlic powder. I like garlic. I'm just going to simply crush these garlic and throw them in whole. Come on, skin. What? What is it with all the skins on the stuff? Oh, shit. I like a healthy amount of garlic in my stuffs, okay? So I have seven garlic cloves. Now you're probably saying to yourself, are you kidding me right now? Never too much garlic. And I'm just gonna smash these suckers up and put them in whole. And garlic smash, 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 
smash, smash, like smash, and one last smash. Ooh, baby garlic, smash. Why is it so sticky? Now let's unwrap our meat. You look so beautiful, you delicious raw meat. I'm not gonna give you guys a close up because I don't know about that, but yum. But oh my gosh, I am so excited for this stew. Yes, meat. Let me try and get this into the garbage without it being a bloody mess. Uh, uh, get it? Uh, 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 bloody mess. Uh. This is where we are so far. Rawr. Plug in the crock pot. Get it onto, it's like one o'clock right now, so I'm actually gonna put it on high, probably for four or five hours. We are not done adding to this pot. Oh no, we are far from it. We need some ground pepper. I'm not gonna sit here and grind my sea salt that I've got. No, that that would take a long time. So about eh, half a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half. I really don't know. I have fresh garlic and fresh onion in there, so I am going to skip the garlic and onion powders, which I typically would put in everything. But since I already have those fresh ingredients, I'm not gonna worry about the powders. I will be adding some parsley. This is already dried. And I will be adding at least one can of tomato sauce as well as one can of tomato paste. This will give us that tomato-y base. The paste will hopefully help to thicken everything. And I'm hoping that the starch from the potatoes will also help to thicken this as it cooks. <laughs> Mix to incorporate everything. It smells so good already. I'm gonna let that sit and get happy for a few hours and I'll be back to check in on my baby in a little bit. Okay so we are on high right now and let's give it three hours. Okay we are at check-in number one. It has been about a half an hour so far. And I think everything is coming together nicely. Get it all melty and delicious. So, so far looking pretty good. Okay, I am back for check-in number two. It has been approximately 1.75 hours since I started my crock pot. It has an hour and 14 minutes left for the initial three hours. So let's take a look at this and see where we're at. Still looking pretty tasty, yes. Now we are talking. It's not as thick as I would like it to be, so I may have to add some flour or cornstarch. The vegetables still need quite a bit of time before they'll be done, but the meat is cooking up rather nicely. And we'll give this another hour before we check in on it again. It smells so good, it smells so good, I can't wait to dig into this stew. So we have eight minutes left on our timer that was originally set for three hours. Let's see how those veggies are doing. They may need a little bit longer. Okay, oh yes. It is looking mighty fine so far. Oh, so glorious. I'm gonna stab it with a knife. Oh, actually, 
That's not bad. I'm gonna say another half an hour, maybe hour. And this is gonna be really, really tasty. I'm gonna up the time to 30 minutes on high. But you guys, I think we're almost ready. Finally done, right on time. So basically I let it sit on high for three and a half hours. The vegetables are just right. The meat is cooked. The sauce actually did thicken up quite a bit. It's, uh, it could maybe be a little bit thicker, but I think that's a really good consistency for stew. I hope you guys enjoyed this what's in my freezer that I can make for dinner episode. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.